When they ask you how you're doing, tell them you're working on a master's degree on breath control. <laughs> tell them you've decided to start a religion collaged with meditation, masturbation, and memory loss. When they want to know about your latest relationship, tell them the moon didn't return your phone call last night, but you're hopeful. <laughs> when they comment on your skinny, swallow a piece of mandible and show them your indent. When you forget how to collapse, return to the concrete that held you seven years ago, how toward the one who kept you safe for a night. When they want to get you drunk, slur your way toward, slur your way toward, slur your way toward an exit sign. And you, war is everywhere. We must turn ourselves into bullets and charge, remove their weaponry, and locate the nearest burst of star. When they tell you how sorry they are, sorry they are, sorry they are, ask them to sing a song from the furthest distance from inside them. When they need to mourn longer, collect nests and sew on big enough for them to weep. When they want to know where you've run off to, mail them a root of your hair with a typeset message that reads, here, here. <laughs> when they walk past you, walk miles to the nearest reservoir, gather its water, maybe they're thirsty. Tell them you're no longer an atheist, rather a belief monger intent on translating shadows. When they tell you to call more often, tell them you've disconnected all your outlets, but unhinged all your doors. So come in, come in, come in. One does not have to be abandoned in order to leap into a lake made of hitchhiked creatures in order to decide where I'm from means. I'm from the tunnel of my mother. Rent-controlled studio apartment inside her body that housed me for nine months plus two days, fed me trees marinated in soy sauce, ate cake without plates or individual portion control. I'm from the other side of that river where the scent of discarded life wafts inside windows and strip malls and strippers and striped hair and everywhere you look, corporations and franchises. I'm from that howl housed inside the beard of Ginsburg and Platt's gas mask and sexton cigarette fumes and the poets that do not wait for stages. They do not wait to be announced. They need no introduction. Instead, each breath is an admittance of line break and desperate call of language. I'm from a body that is watered and hungry and in search of, in search of, in search of. I'm from that evening you poured red wine inside ceramic mugs and we crushed sidewalk cracks with our cracked heels and I'm from that nectar squeezed out of carefully cut mango sucked tropics out of its sour and picked out rind from my teeth for days. I'm from plucked strings and exploding pens and letters written on disconnected bark. I'm from I'm from addiction and sobriety. And can't we all just call ourselves survivors because amidst the disfigurations, we still exist. We still exist. We exist. Beautiful. The first time I was afraid of my life was the first time I felt alive. This is for Jennifer Willie. 
who um, uh, broke my charity. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, okay. <laughs> Awkward, like the first day of school or trying to eat ribs without getting the sauce beneath my fingernails. <laughs> While she pressed her mask on top of me, I counted the stars or were they airplanes? They flirted, blinking their silver lights. Then she inserted her finger and I worried her blue nail polish would blink inside me creating an infection or complicated aroma of varnish. Then a moan, and was that mine? And then a moan, and was that mine? And then a moan, and was that mine? August is the perfect month to lose one's virginity because the night air is so dismissive to the sweat, sweetly intoxicating, fast-moving parts. And although the mosquitoes tempted us with suggestions of an orgy, it was just us beneath plastic swing set, held captive in her parents' backyard. The ghost of Jennifer Willie is trying to move my fingers. <laughs> At first, I could only focus on the scent of Parliament cigarettes on her skin. It was too dark. It was too dark to create pictures connected by her freckles, but I could feel them grind into me. Another finger and the mosquitoes have ignored our request for solitude and what if one bites me on my cunt? She kisses me with a tongue that feels monstrous but warm and tastes what I imagine I must taste like and she doesn't really want me to touch her but I worry she's pretending I'm just her boyfriend. The moon. The moon. The moon is watching, and it's kind of like a giant nightlight guiding our limbs. Her fist is inside me. And this is love, right? Right? Oh. She asks me why. I'm such a hairy guy. <laughs> when hair first starts to grow in a body, one may wonder how long it can get if scissors, razors, and tweezers stay away. If my hair spoke a language, it would be indigenous with words replaced by clicks and squeaks. My hair does not always want to be understood. It is selective in its pattern of growing. My upper thighs are sparse, while my calves contain dirty blonde commas of fur curled against each leg. Each haircut has been deliberate. Men are stealing the beards off Amish practitioners and drugging the women for their roped off hair. How to get back into society by thieving their roots? What would it mean to be bald in a community of guarded faces? Until scissors slice their way into palms and death threats are mailed to scalps with no idea how unsafe they may be. My grandmother, my grandmother with hair of white like first hour of snowfall begged for my hair whenever she came over to our house for the holidays. No one in my family could understand where my curls came from or its thickness. The first time I visited my grandmother's grave, located in a cemetery full of approved Jews in Woodbridge, New Jersey, I brought a plastic bag full of my hair, a thick mass of dark blonde that no longer represented me. I placed my hair against the cold cobblestone. I knelt down beside her name and wept. Now that I've let it grow, the fur beneath the pits and my arms have a stench. My ex-lover hissed at the stain of smell left on her sleeve. She questioned the intent of my deodorant. I told her I forget sometimes. My fear of cancer overrides the waft of fake flowers beneath my sweat. 
You want to pull on this? I asked. You want to suck out the juice of my day? I taunted. him. Smooth is meant for sidewalks and orange juice and butter when it melts against charred bread. This body of mine is hairy, and I'm looking for a lover who has a fondness for itch and wool. <laughs> If you want to appreciate life, lose it for three weeks and see what was there all along. Call this a retrieval project. When ennui arrives, bring back pathological illnesses. When someone asks you if you are polyamorous or monogamous, say both and neither. Green tea can be the perfect elixir for loneliness and morning breath. You are not alone, there is just no one around you. Describe the color of dandelions as jaundice. There is no definition for the bruises on your arm, but feel free to blame the earth for pushing too hard. If there is no such thing as the business of sadness, what is its 401k plan or how to succeed without really trying? If I set myself on fire, will you donate your skin? Where do tongues go at night? What is the difference? Tape verbs to your body when you forget how to move. Check other when offered the choice of male or female. Lead each day like a hemorrhaged body. Can gender be removed like the seeds in cucumbers or cantaloupes? Can I write without humiliation? Sharpen knives against unwanted bulges on bone. Slam balsamic drenched body against brick walled woman, whisper an elegy during intermission or right before, or right before. Cry away a dream tragically enhanced by genetic disrobe. If breasts were detachable, would I leave them behind? Did Jesus waste time with sit-ups and salutations? Can you influence my shadow to glow in the dark? Collect stories like dandelion wishes, and at the end of an evening, suck out marrow of vibrating planets. Spit Jupiter and Pluto and Saturn into the air to see what shapes. And humans emerge. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.